U.S. Abrams tanks are loaded on rail in Pabre training ground, Lithuania, Reuters, Vilnius, as troops and tanks will arrive in Lithuania on Friday for a two-month deployment near the Belarus border, but the government said the move was not a message to its Russian-backed neighbor, where protests continue over a disputed election. In an announcement on Wednesday evening, NATO member Lithuania said us troops will be moved from Poland for pre-planned military exercises. These are defensive in nature and not directed against any neighbor, including Belarus, it added. However, the troops are arriving earlier and staying longer than the government had indicated before the outbreak of protests in Belarus over the August. Nine election that returned President Alexander Lukashenko, a key ally of Russian leader Vladimir Putin, to power. Lukashenko has denied accusations by the Belarus opposition and Western countries that the vote was rigged and has resisted protesters' demands to step down. He has accused NATO of a military buildup near Belarus borders, something the alliance denied, and has said he will ask for Russian military help if needed. The deployment in Lithuania, which will begin on Friday and will last until November, includes 500 American troops and 40 vehicles, such as Abrams tanks and Bradley armored troop carriers, a Lithuanian army spokesman said. On July 29, Lithuanian Defense Minister Raymond Skorobis told Nines why the United States would send a battalion-sized troop contingent, between 300 to soldiers, in September, for two weeks training, beginning in the middle of the month. He repeated that information on August 4 in an interview with Public Radio Orit. Deployment was aligned with training schedule and training area availability, Defense Minister Spokeswoman Vita Ramanuske told Reuters. In addition to the S deployment, up to troops and military planes from France, Italy, Germany, Poland and others will take part in an annual exercise on Sept. 1425, the Lithuanian Army spokesman said. Karoblis said earlier this month that there was a real danger Russia would send forces to Belarus.